Hey, Brian, it's Joe Biden. Look, I know you think YouTube is the bee's knees. All the guys in skinny jeans at the gin joint in Austin were raving about YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Malarkey. Here's the deal. <laughs> I'm Tommy Vitor. And I'm Brian Tyler Cohen. And today we're going to be drafting the most spectacular social media fails. Of which, of which there are a lot. There, uh, yeah, narrowing this down was incredibly hard. Yeah. So why are we talking about this? As you know, Brian, like social media can be an incredibly powerful tool for anyone, but for politicians in particular, to deliver a message, to raise money, and to win elections. It can also go badly. The worst case, right, is Donald Trump inciting his followers to storm the Capitol on January 6th. That's not great. But a slightly less bad case is when you just make a total ass of yourself. Yeah, and we have quite a few of those. What do you say we we, uh, dive right in? Let's dive in. All right, I'm going to flip the coin. Call in the air. Tails. Oh, it's heads. Oh, damn. It's heads. Damn. I've never wanted to win this more because with my first overall pick. Don't do it. I am going with. Don't do it. Ted Cruz uh. 9-11 porn tweet. We probably can't roll the tape on this one. <laughs> Let's talk about the tweet. At Ted Cruz, your Twitter handle, uh, liked a post that was clearly porn. What happened? Oh, uh, look, it was, uh, we had a staffer who accidentally hit the wrong button. And, and it was a screw up. I, I will say Twitter went crazy with it. It became trending. Mm-hmm. Uh, as soon as we found out about it, we pulled it down. So I did some research on this but only on reputable news outlets. You did, you did you did research, you say. The clip in question was <laughs> either from a film called <laughs> 20 or <laughs> or Texas Monthly suggested it was from a <laughs> series. Now, the reporting is all over the place. And again, I, I was unwilling and unable to do the deeper research necessary. <laughs> that, that you wanted to do. To pin it down, so apologies <laughs> there. The other thing about this, though, is it happened on 9-11. <laughs> I forgot about that. But the thing is... This isn't Ted's only porn mistake. In 2016, the Cruz campaign released a video attacking Marco Rubio that featured an actress from adult videos, and they had to take it down. Here's the thing. Heidi searches Ted Cruz's search history, Mm -hmm. and so if he wants to watch porn, he's relegated to, like, normal sites, and so he's looking on, like, Twitter, LinkedIn, Lululemon catalogs, wherever he can get it that's just so (laughs) innocuous. The old Abercrombie catalog. You know. He has needs. The man has needs. You know that old clip from Ted Cruz? He's like in high school or he's 18 years old. And he says, my aspiration is to take over the the world, world world domination. Before he says that, he says that his aspiration is to be, quote, uh, in a teen tit film. So there's a long history here well, that we're just kind of now mining. We're, we're getting close to Ted finally living out his, uh, his fantasy in more ways than one. Good luck, Teddy. Okay, for my first choice which I promise you will be better than Tommy's first choice. No chance. I'm going with the Tennessee Lieutenant Governor's thirst Mm -hmm. trap. Mm -hmm. In a legislative session dominated by bills outlawing drag shows in public places and targeting gender care for the trans community, Tennessee Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally finds himself facing accusations of hypocrisy after a progressive site unearthed his social media interactions with a 20-year-old gay model, among them provocative posts that were liked by the 79-year-old Republican, including one where the young man doesn't appear to be wearing clothes. When people see these posts, what should they take away from them? Well, I don't know that they should take away a a whole lot. He's like, what do you mean what you take away from him? Here's the thing. You know all of these old fuckers who rail against gay marriage have a pool boy at home. Everybody who rails against drag queens has a corset in their closet. <laughs> like, it's just projection. And of course this guy who has like a long sordid history of endorsing and advocating for anti-LGBT legislation is sitting there referencing this guy with a pet name that isn't even public. He was using this, uh, the postie's nickname, which you're right, was not on the page. I mean, just, you you couldn't get any more on the nose than that. He's also doing this from his verified government (laughs) account, making absolutely no effort to hide more than 80 comments. And like, the pictures are real racy, like not safe for work racy. Like there's one where McClure's shorts are pulled down a little and McNally wrote, super look, Finn. Like there's no No, ambiguity. No subtlety. We know what what they're talking about. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, with my next pick, I'm going to go with Democrats Dance on TikTok. I'm looking for a yellow bone, long hair star, star. Dick and hips come get in my 
my car. So <sighs> um, so staffers, don't have your 49-year-old boss dance on TikTok just because TikTok dances are popular. Like, by all means, be silly, have fun, be goofy, but don't do things where they look that uncomfortable because it makes us feel that uncomfortable. Yeah, it kind of brings about the opposite of the intended effect because you have these people who are trying to look hip and instead they look so old doing it yeah <laughs> you know i just like what what does that do for you does that not consolidate the uh 18 to 24 vote <laughs> i don't think so i think young people are very smart and savvy and know when they're being pandered to yeah. and don't do that okay so for my next choice i'm gonna go the best 140 character writer mm -hmm. in the world so donald trump took to twitter back in 2012 it's mm -hmm. more than a decade ago and said Many are saying, I'm the best 140 character writer in the world. It's easy when it's fun. <laughs> Do what you love, you, have, you never work a day in your life. <laughs> He's like with the Guinness Book of World Records. You know how you always find these like super bizarre like world records that somebody sought to, oh, to yes. do and it's just like who would ever try think to do that yeah, it's like, like I'm longest gonna eat, juggle on a high wire yeah like right. i'm gonna eat like the most hamburgers while also sitting upside down on a couch watching right. the csi marathon he's like i'm the best at that he'll just find these random things that he can be the best at and also he's got a point because the guy like tweeted his way to the white house and as much as i hate him like way to post sir he posted right through it posted, posted right to the top off, posted right <laughs> to the top for my next one uh, just chilling in Cedar Rapids, please. Here's a clip. I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Similar to the dancing, I guess I would just say to any politician on, on social media or any platform, really, uh, don't force someone to be someone they're not. Yeah. Don't force someone to use language they don't use. I don't think Hillary Clinton would ever say she was chilling whether she was in cedar rapids or uh, on spring break <laughs> or, yeah, anywhere. <laughs> or anywhere i'm curious when you were in the white house obama was young and he had better comedic timing and he was cool but was there any degree of that where you know there was just this like clash between generations i think that if we'd asked him to do that he would have said no he did take shit remember like we did a video where he used like a selfie stick it was supposed to be satirical and we got shit for that yeah he did you know interviews with a bunch of youtubers and one of them had like filmed herself in like a tub with like cereal or something it's like just silly stuff like yeah. people try to tie him to that i thought you were about to shit on presidents having interviews with youtubers no we did it because like we were like oh this is a great way to actually reach people i mean like as you know you're continuing that in that path keeping this moving my next choice is going to be lauren bobert's wanton killing I think we have a clip of this one. And then all hell broke loose. Rampant, evil, grabbing and grasping, vicious, backstabbing. They made life hell on earth with their envy, wanton killing. I don't know what a wanton killing is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that one up. My favorite part is that that woman wants to abolish the Department of Education. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the perfect encapsulation of why she is wrong. Do you think she meant the word wanton? Uh, I, I would imagine that so would like probably be the word that she was looking for. Gratuitous. Violence. Fair yeah. violence. Yes. Yeah. Though my, my flag on the play, uh, that was more of a speech fail than a social media fail. Was, what, what was the thing I was thinking here? Well, I don't know the rules for this. What do, do we? I'm just trying to grind out a point any way I can. So let's see what happens. No, it's declined. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's yeah, it's that's declined. a. They want us yeah. in the booth, God. and they declined it. So it remains me. a. It remains a point for me. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Okay, fine. With my next pick, I am going to go with MTG Petri Dish. Unfortunately, we have a clip of this one. You have to accept the fact that the government totally wants to s provide surveillance on every part of your life. They want to know when you're eating. They want to know if you're eating a cheeseburger, which is very bad because Bill Gates wants you to eat his fake meat that grows in a peach tree dish. So you'll probably get a little zap inside your body and that's say, no, no, don't eat a real cheeseburger. You need to eat the fake the fake burger, the fake meat from Bill Gates. I believe she meant Petri dish. I think, uh, I think that's know, what it would be. Growing cultured meats, Bill Gates. I know there's a lot of things she could have been yeah. saying about Bill Gates that would have been wrong. I, I landed this one. It's under mostly harmless and funny. She also one time tweeted that she was quacking in her boots instead of quaking. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was funny. But she also referenced the gazpacho police. Yep. And she meant Gestapo. If you ever don't think that you're smart enough to be in Congress... <laughs> You are. You are. If you have a pulse, 
You can, can run for it. Congress. You got it. You can do it. Okay, for my next choice, I'm going to go with one of our OGs, Windsor Heights Dairy Queen. Hell yeah. So Chuck Grassley had come onto Twitter, and this was a long time ago. This was back in 2014. And he wrote, Windsor Heights Dairy Queen is a good place. <laughs> it's a good place for you know what. Brian, Brian, can we just quickly pause to uh, appreciate the first reply that happened to get caught on screen here? <laughs> Making out in the back of a Dodge. Scoring, Scoring some blow? Some blow. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I had the same question. But they're right. JG. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I believe that Chuck Grassley was asked for his response to this. I, I meant this: that uh, I'm at a Dairy Queen, Windsor Heights Dairy Queen. I wanted to give Windsor Heights Dairy Queen some credit for making good Dairy Queen, and uh, and doing you know what. And what do you do at Dairy Queen? You eat Dairy Queen. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, I mean, <laughs> jokes on us. It's perfect. <laughs> it's like it's it's the it's the A plus troll. Like this is exactly how you use the internet. I totally agree. Like this is just some good old fashioned old guy shit. Yeah. By the way, that clip was a decade old, and he's still in the Senate. <laughs> he's just totally weird. He's authentic. It's a great use of social media. Yeah. He often complains about programming on the History Channel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they should all the time. It. This is an actual tweet. I turn to History Channel frequently because I like history. There is never any history unless you are an antique dealer. Change name, exclamation point. I mean, it's direct. Yeah. It's clear messaging. Yeah, it's exactly how the internet should be used. Okay, I'm going to take Elizabeth Warren's beer blender. There we go. Um, I'm glad for everybody who's joining this video. It's great to hear from you. Hold on a sec. I'm going to get me um, a beer. My husband Bruce okay. is now in here. Um, you want a beer? No, I'll pass on the beer for now. You sure? Okay, well, let's say hello to folks. Yes. So, okay. this is my sweetie. Hello. Um, <laughs> he's the best. And I'm crazy. Okay. Yeah. I love you too. Thank you for being here. Pleasure. I'm glad you're here. Enjoy your beer. So, who have we got here so far um, that I can see? Uh, Gabmar, good to see you. Okay, so this one felt like her staff was trying to have her emulate AOC, who has sort of recently come onto yeah. the scene. And she would do these videos where she would like cook dinner or chop vegetables and just like take questions on IG Live. And it was like, it felt very new and raw and compelling. Yeah. And this video from Elizabeth Warren, who I love, felt like it existed in an awkward liminal space between real and staged. Yeah. Yeah. Like also, why was she surprised that Bruce, her husband, was there on New <laughs> like, Year's like, Eve? Like they met up uh, in the supermarket. Why, why <laughs> like, did you... like they crossed paths in Spain. <laughs> why, did, why, why did you thank him for being there and then he left? <laughs> Apparently she was drinking a Michelob Ultra, which, let's just be honest, it's like objectively not a good beer. <laughs> though she stands by it and she likes it. Again, this one I would put up there with some of these others that the internet reaction suggested it was worse than it yeah, was. I agree with but that. But it wasn't like a great. No, thing. no. But I agree with that. I also think it's very like on the nose with the old, you know, let's pick a president who we'd want to have a beer with. Mm -hmm. And so she's like, well, God damn it. We're going to have a beer with me right now. Right <laughs> like, now. Hit kitchen. this one right on the nose. New Year's Eve. I'm going to go with the last one left, Head Lasso Cosplay featuring Kirsten Cinema and Mitt Romney. I think we have a gif from this one. Uh, so that's Kirsten Cinema having fun in her uh, in her adopted party. Um, <laughs> it's cool that she can cosplay as Rebecca from Ted Lasso because uh -huh. she also cosplayed as someone who gave a shit when she was running for office. <laughs> and so it's really really uh, a recurring theme in her career here. I find everything Cinema does to be incredibly annoying. Her votes are bad. She protects private equity guys and keeps their taxes artificially low. She makes it harder to reduce the cost of prescription drugs. She votes against the minimum wage increase and then brags about it to Republican donors. Yeah. It's enraging. But I do have to give Mitt Romney credit that he really like kind of nailed the Ted Lasso outfit there. Yeah, he looks great. He looked great. He looks great, but it's just, it's hard to kind of see anything beyond the fiery contempt that I have for Kirsten Cinema. Yeah, so. he looks great, but imagine how we'd look if we didn't drink or have caffeine yeah. or anything. Yeah, you know, you yeah. Get a great night's sleep every night. The, the funny thing is with that with that healthy Mormon lifestyle, uh, Mitt Romney is actually 210 years old. <laughs> He's two Chuck Grassley's old, two yeah. Two Chuck Grassley's. He, he lived the History Channel. Yeah. <laughs> 
So that was a rundown of spectacular social media fails because Tommy won the coin toss for the first time in, I believe, five drafts. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Uh, we're going to let him go first. So, Tommy, this is your last 45 seconds here to make one final pitch to the audience to convince them that your list is the best list of social media fails. Here's the deal, guys. Ted Cruz liking porn on 9-11 is maybe the funniest thing that ever happened on Twitter. It was really one of the best days of my life, if we're being honest. You cannot top that. Uh, we got Democrats doing horrible dances. We got Just Chillin' in uh, Cedar Rapids. Those are just great examples of kind of not great staff work, people putting into po politicians into positions where they are just doing something that's not authentic to them. Then we got Margie Taylor Greene. She is the gift that keeps on giving both on Twitter and on Facebook. And then look, the Elizabeth Warren beer blunder, it's not the worst social media moment I've ever seen, but it's something we can learn from. And what, what are we doing here if not learning? All right, Tommy. Mm -hmm. So. That was, uh, that was a, a, a valiant effort, but here's Thank the you. thing about my list. We've got Kirsten Cinema being cringe, which is always important. We've got Chuck Grassley with the single most iconic tweet in the history of politics, because you all know what happens at Windsor Heights Dairy Queen, and you are lying if you say that you don't. Uh, we've got Lauren Boebert, Miss Let's Abolish the Department of Education, proving just how inept she is by confusing wanton and wanton. Uh, we've got Trump bragging about the least impressive thing on the face of the earth, that he can write tweets that consist of 140 characters. And then, of course, uh, the, the most relevant one, the Tennessee governor liking his thirst trap tweets. Uh, definitive proof that at the core of the GOP's anti-LGBT push is just projection. With that said, uh, for those who are watching right now, uh, don't forget to uh, make sure to vote for who you think had the more spectacular fails on this list. And so you just go in the comments right now and just write B-R-I-A-N and, uh, and make sure, uh, if, if not for me, then for this child right here. My God. My God. If you vote for Tommy, you're voting against dogs. Just remember that. Do it for Ted Cruz. Do it for the entire uh, oeuvre. Please vote for me. And let us know what we should draft next time. Please comment. Fight it out in the comments. Like it. Share it if, you, uh, if you'd if you like. And uh, check out Brian's page. It's got a lot of good stuff there that's a little more thoughtful than this. <laughs> <laughs> and most importantly, to continue keeping up with this stuff, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Smash. In honor of our friend, Dan. Who keeps talking shit. Yeah. Well... He wanted to be the YouTube, uh, the YouTube sensation from Crooked, and you're trying yeah, to unseat him right coming here. Coming for him. Coming for your crown, buddy. Smash that subscribe button.